one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Yeah, you know what? That's just about right. That's just about right. So increase the fire angle slightly. Reload it. You ready to watch? Just about to shoot it. It's going to hit that fork in the road. So if you look at the fork in the road in front of those two towers, that's where it's going to land. Shot out. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Perfect. That's a perfect hit. One Mississippi. Okay, so it's a four second shot. Okay, so. Yeah. Because it should be the fork in the road. That's what I'm aiming at is the uh, intersection. It's shooting. Alright, let me just change it. You might want... Yeah, right in front of the log. Alright, if you wouldn't mind moving just a little bit away from it so you don't get hit by this dang thing. I'm... Alright. I'm reloading it. I just raised the angle up to 20. Alright, ready to fire. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Was that a hit? Okay, so that's it's that's gonna have to be good enough. Let me try to increase it just slightly more. Hit pass along this time. Do you mind just jumping up and down so I can see a little clearer? Uh no, you're just too far away. I'm gonna have to just walk down there and see where you are. Alright, now I see where you are. Okay, so I gotta adjust it a little bit more than that. Okay. That's minor. Okay. So I need to move it up. I probably need to adjust it like 10 degrees then. Okay, add another degree or two. I don't want to try, but alright, if you want to stand there, sure. Uh, I did adjust it further, so now it should be going a little bit further, but let's see what happens. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. That looks like it hit the road. Yeah, let me go down, because that actually looked like a clean hit. Did it hit right at the fork? I'm coming down. Wait, I'm going down the wrong way. <laughs> okay, I'm coming over to you. So that's where it hit. Nice. Okay, that's perfect. Because basically, when they come out of the dead hills, they have to pass that point. And if they're coming from the, uh, the river, they have to pass that point too. So the dragon came from the river. He had to pass that point on his way up to us. Alright, this is going to be pretty funny. And also, the accuracy is kind of, uh, there's like a 3 feet variance, or 30 feet variance. There's a bit of a variance to where this thing lands. It's not going to land the same spot every time. We'll find out, yeah. I want to find out if I can accidentally kill. See, because that would be a good way of just kiting them into that area, just constantly hitting it. Okay, so it's 30 to 10. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi. Okay, good. So friendly fires off. Um, can you can you try kiting one of those uh, ghosts into that area? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. See if you can like kite one over. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna reload. Okay. Alright, let me know when to fire. Fire? Alright, shut out! <laughs> shut out, shut out! Three seconds! No damage though? Alright, so it has to be the explosive ones that do the actual damage when it lands. That stinks. Oh well. At least I got the new firing solution, so it only took three seconds, and it's only uh, 30 degrees by 10%, so that's going to be an uh, edit. Edit. Oh, you buggy little POS, come on. Thirty degrees, ten percent load. About I wanna say three, four seconds flight time. I'll say four seconds to be safe. Save. Oh, explosive jars. So the I that's not something I'm looking forward to. So explosive jars, uh I need two explosive jars and some twine. The explosive jar itself is let me see if I can find the crafting recipe have it over in the alchemy station. It's like a hundred steel fire and some other ridiculous things. Not fun to craft.